Hey, how's it going? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your business manager, Facebook business manager, uh, be it you are running any, any type of business, right? E-commerce, e uh, lead generation, app installs, right? Uh, just take these principles and then put it into your business manager so that in terms of organization and stuff, you can save, save a ton of time as well as like you can really make uh, your data decisions, scaling, testing very, very easily, right? So that you're able to actually set up uh, your stuff uh, very easy. And anybody who, who comes into the business manager, for example, if you need to hire someone and then they take over, right? And then they understand exactly what, what the heck is happening by just clicking around uh, a bit, okay? So uh, organization is very important. Let me just get right into it and let me just show you as well, okay? So if you see here, uh, this is uh, just one of the ad accounts, right? For example, um, how I do it is, okay, so for example, this one is an e-commerce uh e-commerce account okay so just keep that in mind okay so if i scroll to the right here can you see uh how my columns are actually um being um what's it called scheduled and stuff so i always start on the right hand side is always the most bottom of the funnel metrics so it will be my, my purchase ROAS and the website purchase ROAS. okay then afterwards um going to the top of the funnel to cold traffic wise i'm going from purchase to check out the website check out add to cards add to cards and then content view content view okay the reason why is that is, is so is because i want to see from a pure perspective, right? If I can just, just scroll uh, the data all the way to the left and to the right, I can see um, at one glance how much the drop off is at each stage of the funnel. And to be fair, Facebook's conversion or and like the attribution wise is not very uh, accurate, but at least I can see some sort of data come through, right? So if I see some something is like, uh, if I, for example, here, right, there's no purchase coming in, uh, no no data coming in at the moment, right? No add to cuts and whatever, right? Then I can make a decision on whether I want to kill or, or what, or of scale right so this one for example this this campaign right here right um there is no checkout but there's add to cart right so this tells me that there's something going on here and probably i just need to uh, drag it out a lot more and spend uh, a bit more money right here just to test right okay so as i scroll to the left it's more top of the funnel stuff so everything from link clicks okay i like to um also choose cost per unique link click and like the cost per click cost per link click doesn't matter to me at all right what matters is how much i'm paying uh to get uh, the cost per unit link click okay and then obviously um there are minor issues as well so uh, minor other metrics such as conversion rate ranking engagement rate uh rate ranking as well as quality ranking so these things even though i put it in like sometimes i don't even use them okay so and, and the reason why is because like if there's purchase right i, I couldn't care less I, I don't care about the ranking if there's purchase at this point in time right so it just is all about top of the funnel all the way to the right to the bottom of the funnel and this is the only metric i see at, at the end of the day okay so in this case in this situation here like even though for example here the cost per cost per uh unique link click is very high right but if, if i scroll to the right and see what's happening okay that's one purchase okay so let's let's see and write it out uh, as it's still in the testing phase right so that, that's how i look at numbers and you kind of make your decision from there okay and obviously cost per result is super important okay uh yeah so um you can see like really very simple stuff right like if i go to a, a lead generation for example okay so for example if i go to a a, a lead generation account lead, lead generation campaign you just want to use the same uh principles uh that I've, I've talked about just now okay so everything from on the left hand side it should be um top of the funnel metrics and then to the right is all a, uh bottom of the funnel metrics okay so if i go into my um this one can you see here i'm using a custom conversion at uh cost cost per unique link click and then cost per landed on opt-in page so this is my uh outbound like right my my, my cost per, per link click and then um cost per landed on opt-in page so this one is my like uh view content basically my view content on my my opt-in and then obviously this is my cost per per lead cost per lead and this is cost per application call and cost per uh result okay so like at one glance i can see you can see yeah uh, okay see 623 Okay, can you see how like Facebook sometimes the attribution is a bit off? So that's why uh, you gotta like uh, keep that in mind. Okay, so for example, 672, uh, a lead opt-in. So I see it's around what, a 30% opt-in rate, something like that. All right, then afterwards, 77 to 249 is probably a, a less than 30% opt-in rate uh, from each step. And then 77 to 24 is there. Okay, so this is why it's really important to be um, organized. Right, organized in, in your metrics and seeing your data so that at one glance you can see what to do and what to do next. Right, because the more time you're spending in, in business manager, the less time you're spending on improving the creative and stuff. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. This is one of the questions that someone has asked me. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please put them down in the comment section below. And then uh, I will just definitely uh, take your advice and stuff. And then I'll just create a video around that as well. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. And um, let, let me know how it goes. Uh, yeah, okay.